This tutorial will show you how to quickly and easily create a test scenario using Scenario Builder's Scenario Recorder. In this video, we'll create a script that logs into Citrix and then opens a browser and creates a new Gmail account. First, we click on New in the Scenario Builder toolbar. We'll name the scenario Login to Citrix and choose Global for the type. This means that we want this script to be common to several other scenario scripts. We're given four choices about how to start the script. Start Recording allows us to click anywhere on the desktop to begin our scenario. Open Web App allows us to enter a URL to start our scenario. Start Application starts by running an executable. And Manual Scripting allows advanced users to set up actions manually. I'll click on Start Recording. This hides Scenario Builder and puts us in Record Mode. Notice the Scenario Recorder menu shows up in the lower right corner of the desktop. You can expand the menu to show more buttons. We have several buttons available on the recorder. The bottom buttons are the main actions that people use when recording. First, we have the Pause button. After clicking Pause, it turns into a Record button to continue recording. The Play button allows you to play back everything that is in your scenario up to this point. Stop recording will end your scenario. The Capture Image icon allows you to tell the recorder how to capture images. The icon changes depending on what capture mode you're in. Add Transaction allows you to begin or end a transaction inside your scenario. Add Comment allows you to insert comments into your scenario. And this is the Help button. On the top line, we have Show Recorded Actions, which expands to show your actions as you perform them. Add Actions allows you to add actions to your scenario manually. Add Variable is one I'll show you shortly. Add Component allows you to add an existing component from your scenario or create a new one. Add Subscenario is another one we'll use later in this video. Undo Previous Action and Redo Previous Action becomes available after you've undone one. I'll start by logging in to Citrix. I want to quickly point out what Scenario Builder is doing. It's capturing all my clicks and keystrokes in order to play them back later. It's also capturing images near the places I click. It captures multiple images just before and just after a mouse click in order to achieve over 90% accuracy. Please see our other videos related to advanced image capture for handling images that are difficult to capture. So I'm going to log in now and rather than typing in a username and password, I'll create variables that can be used to log in with information that I previously created in a CSV file that has usernames and passwords. I click on Add Variable from the Scenario Recorder, choose my existing file, and then I choose the field name that I want and I can click on Type Parameter into Field in order for it to actually enter the information where I clicked. It should be pointed out that Scenario Recorder allows you to set up hotkeys to do various actions. For adding variables, I assigned Alt F1 as a hotkey, and I'll use that now to add a variable for the password. Now I'll log on. And as it logs on, I'll exit Scenario Recorder. And now we're back in Scenario Builder and we can see all the steps that we just recorded. Now we have a scenario that can be played back. We just created a global script to log into Citrix. Now I'm going to create another scenario that calls this logon script 
before launching a browser inside Citrix. Before I start, I'll move the Firefox icon so you can see that it will be found and launched even though it's in a different location from where it was when I recorded the login script. So I start by creating this new script. This is a process scenario since it's a main script that won't be called by other scripts. To start with, we'll add our logon script as a subscenario to this new script. So I click here on Add a Subscenario and choose my logon script. This will launch my logon script, which will cause Scenario Builder to play back all the actions that we previously performed. So now it's choosing a username from the CSV file that we selected when we recorded this scenario. And now we're logging into Citrix. I'll start by opening a browser. And now I'll create a new account. Now the first thing I notice is this form here that I need to enter data into has labels that are above the text boxes. So I want to give Scenario Recorder a hint as to where the labels are for these fields to help it capture images better. What I do is I click on this down arrow and I choose Find Labels Above Clicked Area. Now I'll go in and enter my data. And I'll choose a birthday. And click Next. Oh, I have to pick gender. Now I'll click Next. I'm going to end my scenario now. And let's see what the recorder captured. As you can see, it did capture the uh, labels above the areas that I entered. And if you look at the beginning, you'll see that login to citrix.xml is a global script that will get played as the very first step when we replay this scenario. I can now edit my steps if I need to such as adding if-then logic, loops, or any other constructs that I'd like to add without having to write any code. Then I can just replay my scenario by pressing the play button. It's that simple. I've created a fully automated test script without any need for coding or manual scripting using Scenario Builder. Thanks for watching.